Hi, my name is Christy, and I'm going to showcase our brand new saute pan and the saute pan suppers five pack on page 13 of our catalog. And you'll see it at the bottom here. And what you'll you'll see all of our meal solution packets that are in the catalog. Uh, normally, when you buy them, you buy them as a pack of three. But when you purchase the the five pack, you get one of each to sample. And I love these five packs. You could get three or four different kinds of collections and just sample a whole bunch of different products so that you can find your family favorites. And what I'm gonna make tonight are the tacos in the new saute pan. And then the brand new Southwest Ranch. I wanted to try it out with my kids. I've personally tried it. It's spicy, it's got a kick. And so we're gonna try it tonight. And I'm gonna do this uh, all pretty quickly. What I wanted to also show you is that I used the steamer to thaw my ground beef and it took me a minute and a half to, um, to just thaw it. It was a frozen pound of chicken. And here is our brand new saute pan. So I've got the meat already in it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the heat and let that get started. And then I'm gonna add in, based on the instructions on the back of the packet, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the uh, taco seasoning meal solution packet and a little bit of water and that is all. So it says in a large frying pan and it's gonna say saute pan uh, in this collection, uh, you're gonna brown one and a half pounds of lean ground beef, chicken or turkey and you can also do soy and you're gonna stir in the seasoning and you're gonna add one cup of water and simmer for five minutes and you're gonna have tacos done. I love our one cup prep bowls. This is the water that I'm gonna use for my taco meat, um, but I love these lids. When you turn these upside down, this is all water, you guys. Um, when you turn that upside down, it does not leak. And I have prepared the onions, tomatoes, a little bit of lettuce and uh, some green onions for us to have. I love to set these out on our table and to also use them when I'm prepping my meals. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is that our saute pan and our wok are about the same size. I highly recommend both of them. They have this beautiful coating and it's a non-stick coating and they both come with this. And it's uh, really great. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and I'm gonna use the meat masher that is uh, absolutely awesome and used for so many other things other than just mashing meat. And I'm gonna just set our um, spatula and our meat masher off to the side. So what I'm gonna do, just while I'm waiting for that, is show you how the, the Southwest Ranch is super easy to make. It's brand new. And I haven't, uh, haven't made it for my family yet. So I am actually going to make less than what the container says. The container says to whisk two tablespoons of the dressing mix with a half a cup each of the mayo and sour cream. And I'm not gonna do a, a full cup of dip. So instead of doing two tablespoons, I'm only gonna do one. Again, super versatile. You do whatever you wanna do uh, to make it work, but I already know that it's a little spicy and I'm using less sour cream and less mayo than what the recipe calls for. And a lot of times I don't, I don't measure. In fact, I'm surprised I even measure. And I'm using our silicon knife to grab everything around the edges, mix this up, and there it is, it's already made. You can also put this on your Mexican street corn. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do with it. And sometimes when we make tacos, we also use our feisty green sauce, which is great. Um, and there it is, it's all made. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on that. And that is all set. And we, I'm using all of this stuff here. I've got the cutting mats that I really love. And we're just gonna go ahead and slice up the avocado. I love these mats for doing things like this. They don't go in the dishwasher well. I don't know if some of you do use them in the dishwasher, or put them in the dishwasher, but I find that they don't last as long. So I really like to just use them for things where I can quickly rinse them. So now I have my avocado. All right, so um, I, I wanted to mention what comes in this kit. It is the coconut curry mussels, the butter chicken, 
crispy, crunchy lettuce wraps, sloppy joe, and taco seasoning. And you might be thinking, did you just say mussels? And not really sure you're gonna use the mussels, but I have tried them in uh, at our conference last month and also at a, a season launch. And what we use them with is a potato. So it was really great. I love the flavor. If you don't like curry, you may not like this, but hey, I think everything is worth trying at least once. Um, butter chicken is, a, is another favorite for our family. The sloppy joe, it's not uh, like your manwich. It's a little bit, uh, it's not as salty because all of these meals are low in sodium and um, some of them are no sodium. And so I have played around with that one a little bit. I've added a little bit of, um, of the brown sugar to it. I don't use tomato paste, I just use regular tomatoes. And I love that about all of these meals. I can easily accommodate for how my family will use them. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and here is the saute pan. And look at this, you guys, I can use my roll up rack and set this here and show you my meat master. Make some room, mash it. Idea is to make my ground chicken as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add my water and because I only have one pound of meat instead of one and a half pounds, I'm actually gonna use, I'm not gonna use the entire seasoning packet. Let me just kind of mix that. I'm gonna use not all of it, but most of it and then I can use it for myself when I have lunch another time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix this in and then I'm going to put this back on the stove. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that finished up. It's only gonna be um, cooking for another couple of minutes. I also wanted to point out that because we are a low sodium, no sodium company, uh, it just depends on the product. Uh, in general, you may find you need to eat salt, add salt to what you're eating. And so I wanted to show you our grinders. We have a sea salt and black pepper one here. And when you take off the top, you can adjust the grind on them. And so I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt to our tacos. And I, I'm really excited about everything that is coming in the new season. I love grilling season, but some nights I just wanna use a saute pan and there are so many different ways to use it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like here.